you wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on ten, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one in the more one. So what is it be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Is you riding on a team? Got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Give me something to do when I get low. Think you should side with me Stay solid one time if you lie with me Just promise you never lie to me Keep the moves on tuck I know it's all up Everything good, keep the vibes on crush I know it's all good Know it's all Deco uh, X. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful day, I must say. I'm exhausted. I am exhausted too, but we also got to, you know, open our minds a bit. And I know Madam here suddenly wants a bathroom. 
she wants a bathroom but i must say yo uh -uh, like my mind is all over the place i'm glad we went mm -hmm. now i'm like <laughs> no um yeah i really loved everything like i wish I had the money. Like, if I had the moolah, I would be definitely renovating from the outside mm. to the inside mm. to the day call. Mm. Like, it was definitely amazing. It was. Uh, but I hate myself now for coming because now I'm already thinking about all the things that I want to do that I cannot afford. <laughs> no, very true. One thing that definitely stood out is the different types of tiles that is outside your norm. Guys, your get away from your gray tiles. Like, Get away from CTMJ. <laughs> yes, let's move away from Tile Africa. No, I'm, I'm playing, guys. You can find all of those uh, beautiful titles from CTM, from Tile Africa, but let's just get away from the white tile, the beige tile, the gray tile. Like, there is a huge selection out there of tiles. Like, are you going to go color? Are you going to go plain? Are you going to go... Mm. Like, lux, like, modern lux when it comes to your bathroom. Like, there's a huge variety of selections i definitely love that i am definitely hoping that i can do a bathroom renovation mm. somehow it has got to happen mm. you know my favorite one you know my favorite bathroom right to go back when you were busy with the yeah the one with the, the travertine oh that is amazing like oh. the combination of the travertine with that wood look tile oh. it was just on another level but i think also what made it stand out for me was the glass that they use on the shower the bronze glass yes that yes. was just beautiful and when it comes to the kitchens like the way that they use the stones yes the way that they use the different materials on the cupboards so My favorite was i called it a, a ghost stove yeah <laughs> guys where they put in um the a hop on top of the stone oh. so you don't have the actual hop that is done on the stone so it's you all you see is um the cook tops on top of the stone oh, that is just a seamless application oh, that you can do in your kitchen that was beautiful if i if i had the money i would do it yeah but i don't even think it's that expensive probably no. getting the fabricator somebody to come and do the installation that might cost you a little bit because mm. then it's like paying for you know the craftsmanship and the skills and the, yeah it's it's very cool having a a person who's into interior that sees things a bit differently from you mm -hmm. so that's one thing i absolutely enjoyed yeah mm. and guys please go and subscribe to zanella's channel her channel is zen mansu mm -hmm. and if you're seeing this on my on her channel please come and subscribe to my channel my channel is mom how i'm changed please guys let's let's <laughs> subscribe <laughs> and thank you guys for joining as we have enjoyed the day we it did. was nice spending the day it with you. It was absolutely you. lovely spending the day with you, Mama. Girlfriend, you got me smiling what a each day. Stars are brighter, I feel lighter in every way. Girlfriend, there's no one like you when it comes to loving. Richard lips are sweeter Now listen Stay in late Figure out where to go And how about Family New history Here I go Dreaming You got me going Wilder than wild Girlfriend There's nothing that can stop us
Hey besties, I hope you guys are good. Um, yo, yesterday was a, a busy day for me. I went up and down, running around, going to get fabrics for my clients because I've got a couple of dress orders that I need to get through. I went to Cory Craft because I had to go and buy myself a vase. A friend of mine decided to buy me a vase. She's like, girl, go get the vase that you need. <laughs> so I went to Cory Craft and got myself a vase. Um, and then I also went to the fabric store to buy myself a, a lace curtain, made my own curtain. So I'm going to change the curtain behind me right now and put in the curtain that I sewed yesterday. I hope it matches the space and yeah, we'll see if I'm ever going to put a proper curtain here or if I'm just going to keep it as a lace. But let's put up the lace nonetheless. If we need to put up a curtain at a later stage, I'll do that. But it's no pressure because it's the back side of the house where... Whether you've got a lace or they've got a full curtain, it won't really matter. Um, but to Decor X, I went there with um, At Mamo How Unchanged, which is Mama Tudipela. Um, and we really had an amazing time together. A friendship that I think, you know, is going to grow and blossom because we are very much the, the same in terms of energy. What you guys see on the screen with her hmm, is not it. The girl has energy for days. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I will share that with you guys. Let me quickly change this curtain and don't forget to watch those ads. Okay guys, so this is my new lace curtain that I made yesterday. Let us see how this goes. Just want to measure it out with Auntie Annie before she goes. I just want to see that it's fitting nicely and if I need to gather more or release the gathers but this is basically the curtain. See, your girl. I'm not a, a curtain maker guys but you know, I try it. It's basic. My iso. That was long bambi.
and then I wanted to put it elsewhere maybe let me show you the the entire look this is the look you have I put that lace up with a temporary thing to hold it this is the pot plant I still kept that over there and this is really the look and feel with the vase oh sorry with the vase but then I also saw another spot for this vase that I liked even more let me show you so you see how on this table it's black that um, terracotta color and then we've got black and then you've got the whole painting over there hold the thought and look at what I'm doing on this side Let me show you up close and personal. Now this is how the TV area looks. And when you, oh sorry. When you're standing back, even that Wi-Fi thing doesn't show much. But you see, when you are here, I'm liking it guys. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me what you think, but I think this works. I feel like I finally have what I needed in this space. <laughs> should I put it on the dinner table or should I put it here let me know your thoughts hey besties um, so you know me and dismantling things and putting them together I decided to start doing the um, the dining room chairs so I took out one just to see whether it's something I feel like I can DIY myself and so far so good so I am actually going to head to my sewing room to kind of sew it together because they're currently gray and the gray doesn't entirely go with the room as you can see the color of the room is ivory yeah it's a it's a certain tone of ivory ivory parchment but I made mine a little bit darker so yeah, the chairs are grey, and as you can see, man, the room feel has a touch of this brownish, goldish textures and tones that I feel the grey is just completely out, and yeah, so I'm going to change that. And what I also learned through opening up the chair is understanding why deco chairs are the price that they are. And why the one of the legs decided to break... It is wild, but then, as I said, it gave me an opportunity to understand the construction of a chair. Um, I know how to fix it now. I know what needs to be done in order for it to be sturdy, and then I'll be able to have new chairs. <laughs> I know it's wild, guys. I can't explain it, but my mind just loves taking things apart and putting them back together. And like I said... We are in a world where we are constantly buying new things. It's 6000 for this. It's 4000 for that. And I'm just at a place where I'm like, can we recycle, you know? Obviously, for some people, you can take it to somebody to reupholster the chair. If you are me and you love DIYing, you're going to do it yourself, you know? So that's me right now. It's Women's Day. Happy Women's Day, everybody. So I'm doing that. I hope you guys love the end product. I'll show you the chairs as they are right now in the color that they're in. And then you'll see the color that I put in when I'm done. <laughs> okay, so this is the color of the chairs as they are right now. You see? Um, and when you look at the room, it's not like they're completely ugly or anything, right? But I'm not going with gray tones in this room, so I don't like it. So I undid one of these chairs not that one over there so that one over there i'm still very confused like i haven't even gotten to it to understand how to dismantle it but this is the the one that i've dismantled and i'm sitting here with the pieces because i want it to be a beige brownish color that's going to match with the walls if you know what i mean 
So this is the fabric I've just undone so that I can use this as a pattern for the chair. Um, I'm going to cut out my new pattern with this. Yeah, and yeah, I got to look at the chair itself and understand what's what, but this is that. I'll show you guys the chair and where it broke if you guys are interested, of course. And then I'll show you the final product when I'm done. And this is the, the back part of the chair. It's fine, it's intact and everything, right? And then come to the seat. This corner broke off. So this piece of, of, of um, cardboard, almost, it's like a very thin wood, was here in the corner. And then the foot goes in there. So I think when this broke, the foot fell out um, of the chain. That's why it hasn't been sturdy. So I need to fix this. I need to take out these staples and get a bit of um, a board that's a little bit thicker than this. So something that's a little bit thicker than this. Put it in here. And maybe also just take this one out and put it in. And then we'll see. But I'm also learning how to structure you create this for the lounge chairs that I bought. The, okay, the lounge occasional chairs I bought. They need to be reupholstered. Let's see how this goes, fam. And this is the new tone that I'm going with, which I think would work a lot better. Let me just put it on one of the chairs and show you. Can't show you properly because I'm holding it, but can you see? The color works. The color works. And yeah. Let us see. brown <laughs> in color but this is the chair right this is the current color of most of them <laughs> okay a new color your girl did that <laughs> now I need to do the rest I'll show you guys when I'm done Okay guys, so this is the dining room with the new color chairs and I'm sure you can't see the difference at the moment but you'll see it just now. That wall we still have work for but this is it. They were grey, if you can see that grey before, over there versus what's there now. So yeah. Basically what I've done, covered these ones and then these ones I'm taking to a professional to do them. I really don't have the energy for them, honestly. So this one and the other one that looks like it are going to be taken to someone to, to cover them up for me. And then the curtain of the lace that I just did today or yeah. And that's pretty much that. Hey besties, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end if you've made it here. 
it was a jam-packed video all the way from my experience at Deco X with um, Mamo How Unchained. Please don't forget to subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. And to those of you who have subscribed onto my channel from hers, welcome, welcome guys. And thank you so much for subscribing. And then I also then did the curtain and I did the new chairs for the dining room. So it's been an adventure and a half of a week. I hope you guys really enjoy this video, but do let me know where you think that white vase should go. Whether you're living in the dining room or living in the living room, tell me your thoughts and let me know what you think. And also your thoughts about the color of the chairs. The only difference is I can't take them back anyway. <laughs> I made them, so I have to keep the color as it is. Honestly speaking, I think it gels, it blends when I look at them from here. But do let me know your thoughts. Um, I've started painting my passage um, because I just want to finalize and finish that. And then the next steps will really be things like the ceiling, the flooring, etc. Like it's a lot. There's a lot of DIY in my house. I still need to be like literally room by room. There's not a complete room except for the rooms. Sorry that I've recently done and did myself. So guys, thank you so, so much um, for the continued love and support. Really, really appreciate you guys. And I'll see you on the next one.